Hi everyone, my name is Angie and today we are doing a comparison video between the MX Master 3 and the MX Vertical. So if you had not seen my previous video, I did a comparison between the MX Master 3 and the MX Master 2S. Um, that video is here. Here. So that video went out and someone in the comment section actually asked me about this particular mouse called the MX Vertical. Um, I went to do a little bit of reading into it. It looks like a really good mouse but for someone who was very used to MX3 at a point of time, I just didn't really think about it. But I decided to why not just give it a shot and try it. So I bought one and the short answer is I hated it. Um, I'm not sure if it's because I'm just too used to the MX Master 3, but the MX3 is an extremely good mouse. This mouse, um, functionality-wise, a little bit of difference. So this has the same price tag as the MX2S, um, but it's missing some functions. So there is no side scroll wheel button. The main scroll wheel is not max speed scroll wheel. I think that's what it's called. Um, so it has the very standard mouse scroll here and there's no side scroll which is something that I'm extremely used to um, because uh, I do a lot of media work so I a lot of timeline scrolling or artboard scrolling so the side scroll actually helps me out a lot especially in those scenarios uh, so this was something that I really had to get used to I gave myself a week I gave up in two days uh, so if you had seen that video you would have heard uh, I have an injury in my right arm, which is also my master hand. Uh, so it actually impacted a lot of my daily life in terms of using mouses, trackpads, um, things that needs my hand in a flat down position. I can't really do those for long periods of time. So before I got myself the MX Master 3, I was really suffering trying to work on a laptop with a trackpad. Um, the Apple trackpad actually made it really easy to use already but it was still torturous for me because of um, the injury I, I, had, I had in my arm. So I actually have two metal strips inside so you can actually see a scar here that's like this long um, and then there's another one in front. So I actually have two uh, metal plates in. I broke my arm. I had an extra elbow for a few hours. Uh, <laughs> so that, so because of that, the movement of my arm was, I mean it still is, somewhat restricted. Uh, not as bad as how it used to be, this was about two and a half years ago. So it's not as bad as what it used to be, but it's still somewhat restricted even to this day. So um, I think it's called pronation. So standard rotation of your arm, you should be able to face it flat. And this movement should not be restricted, but for my this hand, it kinda is. So anything that requires me to put my arm like flat, I can't do it. So this is flat, but this one I can only do it up to this level. Like this is the max I can go. Like I can try to push it in, but I will feel the strain from here all the way down to my elbow. Like you can... I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but like I'm really trying to turn it. I can, but my whole arm will be strained. Um, so because of that, I kind of had to move on from my older mouses because those are the typical flat ones. So if I were to use that, I had to like move my elbow out like further than usual <laughs> just for me to comfortably use a mouse. So I invested in the MX Master 3 and I got so comfortable with it. I love it so much that I actually bought a second one. So in that previous video, uh, you have seen a black one. So I currently have a grey one at home, so that one is sitting in the office because I got too tired of uh, bringing my mouse everywhere with me. Um, so I got a second one, but before I got this, I decided that, okay, why not, you know, just give MX Vertical a try because I was looking at a second mouse. So I bought this one and um, functionality aside, uh, this mouse is comfortable to hold. That's about it. <laughs> At least for me. So if you if you are someone who is just looking for ergonomic mouse and you have two good hands, uh, you can give this mouse a go. You might love it. Uh, I'm not, I, I don't know. But for me, because of the injury that I had, it's really hard for me to use this mouse. So first of all, 
because I got so used to uh, lifting up my mouth every single time I had to do a movement, uh, any form of like long travel. Um, I used to be the kind of person that drags the mouse across the mouse pad but uh, because of space constraint I kind of slowly got used to just lifting up my mouse every single time I had to do like a lot of movement uh, so it was really hard on this mouse to do that so on the MX Master 3 uh, because of the way that it's designed uh, there is a groove for your tongue to rest in and this actually helps a lot when you're trying to pick it up so that there is a little bit of a groove at this side as well on the right side so the top of the mouse actually comes outwards a little bit compared to where your finger usually rests. So that actually helped a lot in terms of me trying to lift up the mouse. Um, but for the MX Vertical, as you can see, everything is really smooth. It is a very well designed mouse, but just not working out for me. So every time I had to lift it up, I had to like grip extra hard. And at the same time, try not to click any of the buttons because it's just like this. So every time I try to lift it up, I have to like use extra force. I wouldn't call it excessive, just like more than what I normally would use uh, in these two fingers and my thumb, just to try to lift the mouse up. Um, and because it's so smooth, <laughs> there is no like grip or any grooves for me to hold on to while trying to lift up the mouse, it became a lot more tiring to use. Um, and secondly, because of how this mouse is designed, um, I personally feel it's one of those whereby they didn't really think through their designs. Uh, it looks great, granted. Um, for someone who is looking for ergonomic mouse, I think they kind of forgot like why people might be looking for ergonomic mouse. Um, I mean, there are some of us out there who are just looking for one just because like, you know, you've read stuff, you've read articles about how your hand is supposed to rest naturally at a 45 degree angle, da 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 But there are people like me who had arm injury and are genuinely looking for an ergonomic mouse to relieve stress on their hand. This is not one of those mouses. Um, so it takes a bit of getting used to. I tried it for two days before giving up. Um, I think partly because of how much stress, how much additional stress is causing me, uh, which is why it was so painful for me to use. So we have been so used to um, pressing downwards whenever we want to click your mouse buttons. So we kind of have the table to resist that click. So you are not using, you're not actually using a lot of effort performing those actions. Um, but in this mouse, because you are no longer pressing downwards, you are pressing sideways. So you kind of have to constantly do this motion every single time you want to click a mouse button. So it became really tiring um, because I'm constantly trying to like click and every single click um, is straining this area of my hand and here as well, the main two fingers that is on the mouse, uh, mouse keys. Um, so it became really really tiring to use and my arm will start aching within like 3 hours of use and at first I thought okay maybe it's just because I'm not used to it so I gave myself a bit more time I really tried I gave myself 2 days and I really couldn't take it anymore it was so painful to use to the point whereby it was frustrating because I'm using it for work as well and I mean not able to use the side scroll wheel I think was Maybe was the added straw on the camel's back to maybe why I was getting so frustrated but the, the amount of stress it was causing my arm and in turn that really made my arm ache a lot uh, so it was really really hard to use uh, so that was something that I, I just gave up on <laughs> after a while so if you are someone who is just looking to try an ergonomic mouse I think this is a good thing to try uh, Provided you have a healthy arm <laughs> to use the mouse. Oh, and this kind of mouse only comes in the right hand version. So if you are a left hander and you've been using a left hand mouse, um, this will definitely be very, very new experience. Um, so it might take you extra long to try and get used to something like this. Um, the same thing applies for the MX3, but because it is still relatively similar to every other kind of mouse that we were used to using before left hand mouse became a more popular thing, uh, it is a lot easier to get used to, uh, MX Vertical not so much. Um, so 
You've heard the short answer and you've heard the long answer. Do I recommend this mouse? Not really. <laughs> you can try if you want to give it a shot, but for someone with an arm injury, it is very hard to use. I think it will also depend on what kind of injury you sustained. But for me, who um, I just straight up broke my bones, so um, there was like nerve bridge, like I couldn't move my hand until they fixed my hand straight, that kind of thing. So like there was some form of a nerve issue there. Um, not as not as obvious nowadays. Like I I had lost a a little bit of like sensitivity in this arm after surgery, but. Um, it has somewhat mostly recovered. I, I've gotten back about 95% of what my arm used to be. Um, so in terms of movement and sensitivity wise. Um, so do I recommend this mouse? No. Um, <laughs> uh, if you would want to try something like this and you're ready to put in this kind of price for a mouse like this, just go for the MX2S. It's a... Uh, I, I personally feel it's not as good as the MX3, but for that price tag, the MX2S definitely wins the MX Vertical. So if you're looking for ergonomic mouse, just go for the MX Master Series. Those are like good mouses. Functional, it's comfortable, and it works. This is something that is really hard to get used to. Like really hard to get used to. So yeah, this is a short video because I just have nothing good to say about this mouse actually. I tried. <laughs> So if you would like to watch that video that I did about the MX2S and MX3, the link is here again. Um, and I will also put it in the description. And speaking of descriptions, my social media are there as well, shameless plug. Um, so this is not sponsored, I just had to put it out there. I genuinely love the MX3. It's a really, really comfortable mouse for me to use. Um, I love it. If I would buy more, I if I had more hands, I would buy more. But I already have two and I only have one right arm. So <laughs> um, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.